Uh, so window tiling is the next one. Um, just enable window tiling and snapping. That's the default behavior. Um, and then uh, if you didn't want that, you could turn it off. It says tiling and snapping. Uh, the tiling heads up display visibility threshold in pixels. Uh, I'm not really too sure why that, you know, what that's about. To be honest, I, I don't uh, mess with that too much, but um, you can just leave it at default or you can change it to a different size if you wish. Um, it says modifier to use for toggling between tile and snap mode. Um, so you can use control or shift or alt or the super button, which is the Windows key, um, or it could be disabled completely. So. Um, so whatever uh, key on your keyboard you want to use to uh, control the toggling between tile and snap mode, uh, by default it's the control key. It says uh, maximize instead of tile when dragging a window to the top edge. Um, so you've seen me do this a couple times already just by accident, but the tiling is, for example here, um, so that right now, that tiled this window up here, and it says, you know, uh, just by default, but you can see it makes that little green box to try to tell you, like, hey, is this what you were trying to do? Was, you know, put this as a hold control to enter snap mode. Use the arrow or numeric keys to switch workspaces while dragging. So, um, but if I just let go of it, then it's just a tiled window. It's, it's kind of like you could put a second window down below it here in the second tile area if you want. Um, and it kind of tries to do it in a smart way to where it's automatic and everything. Uh, but um, if you wanted it to maximize instead of that uh, when dragging a window to the top edge you could do that so instead of uh, you know doing the tile setting you could have it um, completely maximize the window like so if you preferred um, by uh, you know for make that the behavior of, of that when you if you want to uh, toggle that on and it says so show snap on screen display um, and that, I believe that's the green rectangle that we saw there. And this shows tile heads up display, or maybe that was it. I'm not too sure which one, but uh, but in any case, uh, if you do not want those displays to appear, you can turn them off. And then at the bottom it says legacy window snapping. Is hold shift while dragging a window. Uh, so if you prefer the old behavior um, where you would hold shift while moving a window to have it snap, you can turn that on as well. So uh, for folks who are used to that, um, that is an option there as well. Uh, and the final option here in the preferences settings here is the workspaces. So uh, it says enable workspace on screen display. Um, and we saw that a little bit earlier with the hot corners, which I wasn't really uh, too sure how that worked, but uh, but I got the gist just from uh, looking at it. And this is allow, it says allow cycling through workspaces. Um, so if you want to turn that behavior on, you can to switch between the different workspaces. And it says only use workspaces on primary monitor. Uh, and if you want to only use them on the primary monitor, that requires a cinnamon restart uh, for that to be in effect. So um, if you have multiple monitors and you only want to be able to switch between workspaces on the, your primary one, you can toggle that option on there. Um, it's a display expo view as a grid. Um, I'm not too sure what that is. I'm going to guess that's the view that appears that shows the, you know, multiple workspaces. I'm going to guess that's what that's talking about. Uh, not too sure there. Uh, it says invert the left and right arrow key directions used to shift workspaces during a window drag. Uh, well, if you wanted to do that, you could. There's a toggle for that. Um, maybe if that's just what you're used to uh, behavior wise, you could do that. But um, but yeah, if you want to use multiple workspaces, uh, pretty much all the workspaces is like different versions of, uh, or different in instances, I guess I should say, of your uh, desktop and, and everything. So um, I personally don't have a lot of use for them. I've, I've not really been the kind of person to like really multitask like that in that way. Um, I prefer to just use, you know, the more standard uh settings like uh, you know multiple windows or multiple tabs or something like that if i want to switch between stuff i'll use the alt tab sometimes to you know to switch around between open software and stuff like that but um but there are reasons that you would want to use workspaces uh potentially you know where you can keep things more organized and separated or you know easily open you know two different things or you know whatever um and you know you you can do that um the, the functionality is available to you and the settings in here allow you to control it and customize it to uh you know suit your needs so um so that wraps up the preference section next time we'll look at the hardware section here thanks for watching
If you enjoyed this video and you want to learn even more, you can find my books at bookstoread.com slash Jonathan. That's books, the number two, read.com slash J-O-N-A-T-H-A-N.